Principles of Symmetrical Components Part 2. In this part, we're going to get into the decomposition or the breakdown of symmetrical components. And this is more of an overview, so we won't go into too much detail here, but this is to serve as a visual example of what we can do with symmetrical components. I have this example already set up. You see, this is an unbalanced set of three phasers, or it's an unsymmetrical set of three phasers. We're going to call this phaser here IA, this phaser IB, and this phaser IC. Okay, now these three sets of phasers here, these are called the symmetrical components of the unbalanced set. This is the unbalanced set, and these three are the symmetrical components. This is positive sequence component. This is negative sequence component. And this right here is zero sequence component. So let's just describe a few things about our system. So our system, first of all, the phasers in our systems are rotating in the counterclockwise direction. Remember, this is the direction that a lot of the standards and a lot of the papers out there always assume for any system. And then our sequence, so in our system, our sequence, we have an A, B, C phase sequence. These two informations are very important. So as these unbalanced set, as they rotate in the counterclockwise direction, we can assume it has an A, B, C phase sequence. So now let's zoom into our positive sequence component. Remember, this positive sequence component is just the breakdown of our unbalanced set. So in our positive sequence component, this phase here is our breakdown of our IA. And then we're gonna give it a superscript of one to indicate that this is a positive sequence component. This here is IB, and we're gonna give it a superscript of one to indicate positive sequence component. And this phase here is IC superscript one, okay? Now, the cool thing about this positive sequence component is that if we rotate, right, in the counterclockwise direction, remember this is the direction that we always rotate, then the sequence of our phasers is going to be A, B, C. Now, earlier we said that our system has an A, B, C sequence. And as we can see in our positive sequence component, the positive sequence component also has an A, B, C phase sequence. So the phase sequence of our positive sequence component and our phase sequence of our system should be the same, which means that if we have an ACB system, then our positive sequence component is going to be ACB, okay? So just uh, keep that in mind. Now, for our negative sequence component, let's define some of these phasers. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So this phaser here, we're gonna call this IA, and we're gonna have a superscript of two to indicate that it's a negative sequence component. This right here is IC, and we're going to have a superscript of 2. And this right here is IB, and we're going to have a superscript of 2. Now, if you haven't caught on already, look at the phase sequence of the negative sequence component. So if we place a stationary mark there, and if we assume that the phasers were rotating in the counterclockwise direction, we get a phase sequence of A, C, B. Interesting. So we know for our negative sequence component, our phase sequence is going to be the opposite of our positive sequence component. For our positive sequence component, it was A, B, C, and it was the same as our system phase sequence. For our negative sequence component, the phasers are also rotating in the counterclockwise direction, but the phase sequence is A, C, B. Now we get to our zero sequence component, so let's zoom in here. Now for our zero sequence component, that is I, A, superscript of zero. This right here is I, C superscript of zero, and this phase here 
is i b superscript of zero. Now the zero sequence component, that is also rotating in the counterclockwise direction. But in terms of our phase sequence or phase rotation, it has no phase sequence, which means it's neither a b c or a c b. In reality though, these zero sequence component, they actually overlap each other. But to make the zero sequence easier to see, we've kind of displaced it like that. So our negative sequence component has no phase sequence. So let's back up. We know that we have this unbalanced set of phasers, right? And our system is rotating in the counterclockwise direction and it's an ABC phase sequence system. Our positive sequence component is also rotating counterclockwise direction. Its phase sequence is ABC, which is the same as our system sequence. The negative sequence component, it's rotating in the counterclockwise direction, but its phase sequence is ACB, which is the opposite of our system sequence. And the zero sequence component, it's also rotating in the counterclockwise direction, but it has no phase sequence. At this point, we're going to conclude this video, but in part 2b, we'll continue where we left off. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead by clicking on the bottom right corner of the screen. If you have any questions, there's a Q&A forum that you will find below. For more video tutorials like this one, please visit generalpack.com. Thank you.